Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Learning and Sharing. Today I have brought for you three terms, three new things here. You might not know about them, so I will have a quick and short introduction about these three terms. Which are these three terms? Uh, one is the Beaufort, Beaufort scale, another is Paris, and number third is the finger leg. Uh, one is the scale or measurement, measurement scales. Uh, another is the water body or water feature and number third is the grassland feature. So these three are different from each other. So we will have a explanation and discussion on, on them. So Beaufort, Paris and finger legs. So uh, Beaufort, Beaufort scale is the scale as a measurement scale through which we determine the power the power of wind both on water bodies and on land area. So, this way through, we have to say that the wind is so powerful. Hai. So, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, you know, uh, ascending type of, you know, parametric, uh, parametrical, you know, uh, number uh, through which we determine uh, the, you know, speed, power of the wind. So, I will, I will give you explanation on that. And then number second is the parary. Parary is type of grassland which is being found or being located at the um, uh, at the cent at the Canada and America. These are being part of the Great Plains of Canada and the America. And number third is the uh, finger leg. Finger leg, its name is indicates uh, look like a finger. So it, they are at the it's a, these are the water bodies. Uh, which are being found at the middle, at the central part of America, North America, uh, which are very close, very near to the uh, New York City. So these are the three terms which we'll discuss here in our uh, in our video today. As I told you earlier, there will be a very short, a quick, uh, you know, introduction of these three terms. So let's go to the details of these three terms. So yes, and now we'll discuss in detail these three things, finger leg, uh, Beaufort scales, and pararise. Uh, finger leg, the finger legs are a group of 11 long, narrow, uh, roughly north-south legs in the area, informally called the finger legs, which has been located in the United States, particularly in the New York. So, so this is, uh, this finger leg, uh, you know, finger legs are based on 11, 11 narrow, uh, narrow legs of you. You can see here in the images. So these are the 11 narrow, roughly long. They are been running from north to south. Uh, uh, so a finger leg, let's discuss in detail what does mean by the finger legs, why, how this name is being called. So a finger leg, also known as either a fissured leg or trough leg, is a narrow linear body of water occupying a glacially over deepened valley and sometimes impowered by moraine dams. So basically the finger legs are being formed due to the movement of the glaciers. So once the glaciers were moving uh, in a direction, once direction start to erode, start to erode the, you know, the land which is being falling down, land, land which is being pinned at the bottom of that area. So basically the finger legs are eh, glacier movement ki wajay se bani hai. Jahan jahan glacier move kar raha tha, to wo uske niche jo zameen thi, wo usko wo kaart thi kai and they become the finger legs. So where one end of finger leg is drowned by the sea, it becomes a fissure or sea block. So you might know about how fissures have been formed. It is once the lake has been, lakes, uh, lakes are being fallen in the in the in the ocean or bigger water bodies they become the fissure. So finger lake actually Kiara lakes eh, which are being located in the New York region. So you can see here. So the finger lakes are known for producing excellent wine, particularly for world renowned releasing. The regions are famous for number of breweries. Uh, this release and hard cider production. In this area, Finger Lakes, is so famous, so popular for recreation, for the entertainment, 
Uh, there were regular visitors. They go there and they entertain themselves. Most popularly, most probably, this land has been famous for some breweries, uh, some some sort of you know uh, you know liquid production. So, uh, particularly the wine and alcohol, which are being mostly found in this particular area. So, is a hard center production. There are eleven gorgeous finger lakes providing multi. Let me have recreational activity include water biking, kayaking, canoeing, paddle boarding, swimming, jet skiing, uh, sailing, and fishing from west to east. So you can, if you are being this part of the world, you will have a lots of fun there. So there's a different type of sports are being doing there. You have a of sports because this particular area is being famous for entertainment and fun. So, so what legs we have, so there are different names of those legs. So Kwanzaas, Helmok, Kendais, Konoi, Kandogai, Kwaika, Sansa. So these are the names of these lakes which are being found this part of the world. Now, how these lakes are being formed, there are two, you know, uh, reasons are being given for. One is the scientific reason based on some geological events, and that is the, you know, the, some sort of myth or, you know, saying or historic fact, which is based on superstitious explanation. So, yeah. So, according to geologists, the figure legs were formed more than 550 million years, 550 million years during the Paleocene Ice Age. So, glaciers crept through the area and carved deep slices into the land pushing the earth and rock south. Gradually, the ice melted and the glaciers receded, leaving shale valley of water, which are now the finger lakes. So according to the geologist, uh, uh, geological explanation, uh, it happened in the ice age when the glaciers start to creep down in this area and they cut down the land area, that land area and created the lakes. So once the, the uh, uh, glaciers start to recede, they leave left behind the water and they become the finger lakes. So, what is happening the finger lakes? The finger lakes are the glaciers that are moving away, they cut the land on the ground. They leave some impressions shore, because of the movement of that and some sort of uh, you know, physical features like legs formed. So, when the glaciers melt and the water came out of the water, the water came and they, they become the finger legs. There's another explanation. Native American legend claims that the legs were formed by the hands of great spirit when he or she laid their hands on the land to bless it. So, his fingers left imprints that fill the water, hence the name finger legs. So, this is any superstitious, uh, you know, uh, you can say religious or uh, native claim that people have been saying that it happened because of the hand imprints by the great spirits. And when he put down his, his hand on the land area, it becomes the legs. So, the fingers which he, which he put on the land, those fingers left their imprints on that land and become the finger legs. So, what is the meaning of the Buddha, the great spirit, has kept his hand on the earth, to give a blessing to someone. So, the hand of the hand, 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 and the now we are coming to the Beaufort scale. Uh, the Beaufort scale, officially known as a Beaufort Wine Force scale, is a descriptive table or chart depicts with ascending number. So it's some sort of you know measurement chart or scales or the table which are been depicting the uh, depicting the special numbers which determine the power of the wind. So, this is a chart or a table that is a table that is a table that is a number that starts from 0 to uh, 13. So, uh, you can understand the, how much uh, the powerful wind is that area. So, the scale is determined force of wind by series of numbers from 0 to 12. Actually, this series 
start from zero and end is 12. So actually, uh, actually uh, the Burford scale goes all the way to 17, but last five numbers only apply to tropical typhoons. So these numbers are only used in the area around China and the Taiwan. So what has been said, actually this number was from zero to 17, but the last five digits being now has been uh, taken away. Uh, because last five digits just showing uh, the tropical typhoons and it only happens in China. So if you're not in China and Taiwan, then you just, you know, uh, you know, relying on uh, numbers from zero to 12. Uh, the scale is named after Sir Francis Beaufort of the British Royal Navy. In 1805, he devised a method of describing wind force according to procedure for setting sails on the warship. So it, this scale was, you know, made by the British uh, Royal Navy man, uh, Frank, Sir Francis Beaufort in 1805. He's devised the method. He gave us the methods uh, on that, through that measure, we can understand the, how uh, you can, we can record the, uh, you know, the wind force of the aircraft. So Beaufort scale is useful for estimating wind power without wind instruments. So if you don't have any particular instrument, you can easily determine or record or feel the power of the wind also. We'll see the, how it happens here. So this is the scale, Beaufort scale is start from zero to 12. It's from zero to 12. You can see here from zero is under one, wind is speed, which is a meter uh, miles per hour. So it's a calm, zero is a calm. And so calm smoke rises vertical. So you can see the smoke has no any movement. Uh, what I say, no any deflection in the smoke. So it's very calm. So number one from one to three, it's a light air. So you can see here the smoke has been lift, slightly drifted and diverted. Then number two is four to seven, so light breeze. A wind felt on the face leaves rustle, whereas uh, winds begin to move. So you can see here it's a slightly movement of the air. Of the air. So number three is a gentle breeze, which uh, which leaves small twigs in constant motion, light flags extended. So if you look at the flags, you can see uh, the not only the direction, but uh, you can also understand the uh, you know wind movement also there. Number four is moderate breeze, uh, dust leaves and loose paper raised up, uh, small branches move. So, jo ke smaller branches hai, wo move karti hai, matti urti hai, aur jo chote chote jo uh, patte hai aur jo paper hai, hai. Number five is fresh breeze, fresh breeze with small trees begin the soil. So, jo chote chote uh, 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 trees hai, wo, they start to sing. So, so similar likes, if you go from six to 12, so you have a different, you know, feelings, different status of uh, these things. So we have a strong breeze. Then we have number seven is a moderate gale. Then we have eight is a fresh gales. So twigs and small branches broken off the trees. So again, when you have a fresh gale, number eight, so the branches or twigs of the trees start to break down. So number nine is a strong gale, uh, slight structural damage occurs, slate brown from the hoof. So Joanna, slide blown from the slate. Number 10 is a whole gale. So it, it is like, like this one is also, then we have a storm also, uh, then we have also a storm here. Uh, number 11 is the storm. Number 11 is a storm here. So very, very rarely experience of the lane, usually with the widespread damage. So number 12, number 12 is the hurricane, hurricane force, hurricane force where violence and destruction has been there. So you can see, you can understand from there the number. So this is the same thing, uh, calm and still, uh, it goes to up to 12. This is another also exp uh, explanation of uh, that Beaufort scale. So we have a different, you know, you can understand from here. So the scale is now rarely used by the professional metro professional metrologist, having been larger replaced by more objective method of determining wind speed. So now the scale is not being used, uh, you know, frequently. It's been, it's been used rarely. Because now we have a more 
ऑब्जेक्टिव मेथड ऑफ डिटरमाइन विंड स्पीड अब बहुत सारे आलात आ गए बहुत सारे यू नो डिवाइस आ गए जिससे हम जमीन हवा की ना सिर्फ स्पीड पर उसके पावर को भी करें सो सच सच इज यूजिंग एनोमीटर्स ट्रैकिंग विंड इकोस विद डोपलर रेडार्स एंड मॉनिटरिंग द डिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ राइजिंग वेदर balloons and radio sounds from their points of belief so we have a different things anemometer tracking wind echo so these are the these are the uh, latest you know technology latest devices through which we can uh, uh, you know determine the wind power so nevertheless it is still useful in estimating the wind characters over a large area so if you are been in a lot lot larger areas you can still use uh, this uh, scale and it may be used to estimate the wind where the, there is no wind instrument the uh, biggest you know uh, advantage of this scale is there once you, you don't have any instrument you can use it otherwise uh, it has been not used here to agar aapke paas aur koi instrument nahi hai to aap isko use kar sakte hain uh, number third is the parallel so parallel is a large open area of grassland especially found in the middle of america so Uh, prairies are the grasslands which are been found in north america so america ke beech mein paaye jaate mostly it also been found in uh, in, in canada also uh, especially this is the grassland so the place is a moderate temperature moderate rainfall and a few sparse trees so what type of condition we have uh, the prairies have a moderate temperature wahan pe moderate temperature hota hai moderate rainfall rainfall hota hai na zyada rainfall hota hai na kam hota hai aur temperature bhi is tarah hota hai na zyada hota hai na kam hota hai and we have sparse sparse trees kab kahin kahin pe pe kahin kahin pe hame trees nazar aati hai baaki pura open hota hai and it is be based on the grass jahan pe grass maujood hota we call that the prairies prairies is a word french uh, that means meadow ye french word hai jiski maana hai meadow prairies are mainly found in great plains of us which includes states of north dakota south dakota uh, nebraska kansas and oklahoma so it is been found in in the you know plainer areas which is based which has been popular known as a great plains of america and has been found in different uh, states like dakota south dakota and kansas so uh the prairies cover almost 1.5 million square miles of land in usa if you look at the how much area has been covered 1.5 million square miles of the usa we usa land area has been covered by the prairies so it was all about the you know uh you know these things uh if you like my videos please subscribe my channel also share with your friends to have more videos in future and also also uh click the button so so you have a quick uh, you know quick view of my video so till then take care of yourself see you very soon